Hey everyone, First Order here, and uh, welcome back to another video. It's been, it's been a while, about a month and a half. I'll make a video on why I haven't been here, but that's for down the road. I just want to talk about Rebels, because the season finale, well, the series finale was last night, and we have some unanswered questions to get to. So let's just go right into this. Where was Ahsoka during the original trilogy, and why didn't she help the Rebellion? Ahsoka was pulled out of the portal, as we know, and was saved by Ezra, and she jumped back into her own portal, which was about a minute or two after she jumped into it, after Ezra pulled her out of it originally. So, was she just stuck on Malachor the entire time of the original trilogy, or did she choose not to contact anyone to come pick her up? Because, well, in my opinion, it's not in Ahsoka's character to just sit back and watch the Empire rule over the galaxy and watch what she now knows as Anakin to continue on this dark path, etc. So. Why didn't she help? Why didn't she go to Tatooine where Obi-Wan was and be like, Hey, what are you doing? Oh, you're looking for this boy, Luke? Oh, cool. Okay. I'll just, you know, sit back here. Don't mind me. I'll be with you. I don't know. I just, it's not in her character, in my opinion, to just watch the galaxy be ruled by an iron fist while she just sits on Malachor and just whittles her thumbs. Also, a question. That planet looks barren. What did she eat for three years? That was my first thought when I saw her ship flying because it was a Clone Wars ship and I was like oh, okay that's okay but what did she eat for three years and it's whatever anyway next question did the ghost team go their separate ways after the liberation of Lothal I noticed this they all kind of just went their own separate paths they've been a family for about three two years you'd imagine they stay together after two of their biggest people well what they think died Oh, Kanan died, Ezra they think died, but we know he's alive. See, Zeb and Callus went on their separate ways into a different rebel cell. Hera, I'm assuming, is still with the Rebellion. She fought in Scarif and Endor, but she also has a kid, so she's also a mother on the side, so I don't think she's fully involved with the Rebellion as much as she was, unless she's trained the kid to be in the Rebellion. Well, what we see her at the end, the kid's already born, so you know what, never mind. She's with the New Republic, most likely? I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do with Hera as her character. Rex, we know, survived and went to fight in Endor. I don't know if that, like, you know, counters how long clones can stay alive, but whatever. I don't know what their lifespan is. And Sabine, I'm assuming, stayed on Lothal the entire time. She does say in the episode that she thought what Ezra said to her was to stay on Lothal. That's what she thought his mission was to her was. Also, not in Sabine's character, why didn't she go back to Mandalore, you know, her homeworld that's right now in a civil war? Why did she stay on this planet? You know, that has really no meaning to her. It's just Ezra's homeworld, and that's all it is to her. So I don't really know why she stayed there the entire original trilogy. The only really thing is that, hey, we need this character to stay here, so just go. And finally, obviously, you all probably guessed this question, where did Thrawn and Ezra go? That's my biggest question, because there's a new Thrawn book coming out this July, which is going to have Thrawn and Vader go on a, basically a tag team mission. I just assumed it would take place after Season 4, but obviously it's not, because Thrawn is missing. So is it going to take place in between Seasons 3 and 4? I don't know. I just thought it was weird that they chose to go with this route with Thrawn. But my guess, and I've seen a lot of other people guess this, is that the whales took them to the unknown regions, and Thrawn probably just escaped and went back to the Chiss Agency. That's just my guess, and he's gonna show up later down the line after episode 6, you know. Probably be the main antagonist whenever they make a series of books that take place in between Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens. Kind of be like the Chiss Ascendancy, kind of versing the New Republic. That's just my guess. The books might even take place after episode 9 or after episode 12 or whatever they're gonna do with that series. Sort of like the new Thrawn trilogy. And Ezra, where did he go? Did he just stay around with the whales for about three to four years and no one decided to come get him? Like, why did they choose to go get him after Return of the Jedi and not right immediately after? That's just my question, but hey, it's, it's whatever. And finally, one little note that I want to point out. The little Ugnaught, you know, the one that gets shot and Hondo is like, oh no, my best friend just died, but he survives by getting shot once. But Gregor, a clone who has experienced the entire Clone Wars and who survived a crap ton of explosions dies from one blaster shot. I guess Gregor wasn't wearing enough plot armor for Rebels, but whatever. Anyway, I want to know what you guys thought about the episode, so just leave your thoughts down below. Do you have any unanswered questions about the episode? Feel free to ask me. If I have the answer, I'll respond. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, blast a like, and all that good stuff. And if you are new, why don't you subscribe? For all things Star Wars, it's been a while, but I'm back, sort of. Anyway, this is the First Order, 
signing out.